Wow, have you had a look around? I'm gonna have a hard time concentrating on you three, that's for sure. So, uh, anybody want a quick titty dance before we get started? Uh, I mean, I know I could sure use one. I'm bored. I'm scared. I really do not want to be here. You guys are saying that now, but wait till Nefertiti comes out and does her snake charming routine. Wow. All right, now first, everyone throw all the cash they have on the table and see what we've got. Now, I'm a little low right now, so instead I'll put an IOU on this cocktail napkin. How about we sit back, relax, and take in a shower show in the VIP room? A couple of these chicks in there really get into it. Larry, don't get me wrong. I'm happy to be here, but don't you think this is a tad weird taking us to a strip bar on a date? Why? You uptight? I'm not uptight. I'm uptight. That's not what I heard. Let's take it easy, huh? The manager's looking for any excuse to take away my VIP membership and ban me from the club. Finally, some freaking service. <laughs> this frequent saver card has six punches in it, and this one has four, which earns me a free drink. One of them is expired, but, uh, come here, hon. I don't think I have to explain. There's going to be a nice tip in it for you if... Larry. That's, uh, sweet of you, but I'll pay for them. Cool. Thanks, Morgan. Next time I donate plasma, I'll make sure to get you back. But as much as I appreciate the gesture, you'll have to keep your hands off my privates for now. <laughs> I'll have to remain impartial until after the date. Well, darn for me. Anyways, I thought all the questions the producers gave me sucked, so I took the liberty of writing my own. Here we go. Using the numbers 1 through 10, with 10 being the highest and 1 being the lowest, and the numbers 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and nine being used to represent varying degrees of how strongly you feel you excel. How would you rate yourself at windsurfing Mount Baldy? Nine. Ten. Larry, what are you talking about? Can I change my answer? Whatever. I don't even remember what you said the first time. Twenty-three! Great answer. Wow. Hey, somebody's done her homework, huh? Huh? Yeah. All right. Here's a question I think all of America has a right to know. Where's the strangest place you've ever growled at the old badger? Larry, are you talking about sex? You know, I have no idea. Inside one of the guard towers at the Photon Laser Tag Arena. Be on a dumpster at the last Diggy Pop concert. Assistant Dean Abramson's private bathroom. But you guys have to keep that a secret. You heard it here first, folks. Okay, let's get to some of the serious questions here. If you were living in a magical fantasy universe ruled by an ancient and wise dragon with whom you were very much in love, and had a second dragon stole you away from the first dragon and told you that the only way you could return to the first dragon was to have sex with him, would you betray the first dragon's love? Or would you remain faithful even if it meant never seeing him again? And if so, do you think you'd enjoy it? Huh? All right now, one at a time, ladies. Yes. And no. Mm, yes, I find myself oddly aroused. Barbara Jo? What's a dragon? I'm sorry, that question's just weird. Can we skip to the next one? Man, you are uptight. <laughs> because I wouldn't have sex with a dragon. You'd sit there and rot in some cave forever just so you wouldn't have to give a dragon a blowjob? I like dragons. Okay, sure, fine. Under those circumstances, I would do it. Man, what a sicko. What? You fucking hypocrite. I don't know about you, sweetie, but I ain't chugging dragon cock for no man, no how. You bitch! Ahem, <clears throat> ahem, excuse me, the show's about me, remember? <laughs> As the only male contestant on this crappy reality dating show, I bear an enormous responsibility. If it were up to me, it would be Threesome City tonight. But when I came on this show, I took an oath. An oath to create stirring television for uneducated women in their low to mid-twenties. So somebody's gonna have to get tossed. And as a result, sex with me will come in the near future instead of tonight. Now, with a haircut, some new clothes, and perhaps some minor cosmetic surgery, you might have made the grade. But that is water under the bridge. I'd just like to say that this has been the only date I've gone out on in my entire life. Thank you! Good night! Uh, hey, everybody, uh, I'm sorry. I was actually getting a table dance. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, everyone, we're gonna need to get that again. 